Yeah, it is on. Our last group one of the year, and they're off and racing. Tom Kitten jumped nicely off barrier one. Gambari and the four going forward. Kintar, glad you think so. They're all moving forward, and Port Lockroy moves into a prominent role. Rafa takes not a pace factor at the moment, but now he's got the bridle and going forward, and Ravello's going with him as well, so it's Gambare in front. Now Rafa Tuck moves up on the outside, and Bayless will go all the way to the front. Rafa Tuck charges to the front now. 15 love early, led by two on Gambare. Ravello goes to third, followed by Kintai pulling now. Glad you think so. Has wound up three wide and has to go forward. And Tom Kitten parks midfield in advance of Port Lockroy. Then came the Philly Tuta Levita down on the rails from Long Jeans. A length and a half cap for Ra and a gap back to Madatsu. And the Ruffy Rambolons last of all. So it's Raff Attack. He worked a lead out by a length and a half. Glad you think so. Worked to a clear second. Then Gambare and Kintai deeper out on the outside of Ravello. Two lengths away to Tom Kitten, travelling strongly on the rails in advance of Port Lockroy. Further back then to Long Jeans from Tuta Levita. Cap Farrar between runners. Two off to Madatsu and Rambolon sees them all. Inside the 800 metres and Raff Attack leads the way by a length to Glad You Think So. Gambare's at a cheap run on the fence. Kintai deeper out, followed by Ravello. Then came Tom Kitten, who's gradually improving his position on the rails. Port Lockroy's come off the bridle. Then Cap Farrar and Tuta Levita, the filly's right behind the favourite, although Hieronymus is coming well off the fence now on Tom peeling forward as they straighten Raff attack with a bit of a kick the stable mate Gambare giving chase Tom Kitten rounding them up so is Port Lockroy on the outside and Tuta Levita running on, Tom Kitten got to the front, 200 metres to run and Tom's going strongly look at Tom go 2, 3, 4 in front Capra down the outside in a second but that's the best of Tom Kitten today a much-deserved Group 1 victory. Tom Kitten won the spring champion in a cakewalk from Cap Ferrar and Gambare. Then came Tuta Levita, a gap to Port Lockroy from Raff Attack. Further back to Rambolon, Kinta Ravello. Glad you think so. And Madatsu last in. Well, Tom Kitten. The kitten has all of a sudden turned into a lion. He has bolted in the spring champion stakes. The real Tom, the very best of him, has bolted in. Adam Hieronymus and James Cummings. A memorable victory in more ways than one. Wow. I don't know who was doubting him, but anyway, he's... Uh, He's put a space in them there. What next? That is the question. What next for a horse like him? Um, who knows? I don't know whether he goes to the derby or stops or thinks of the autumn, but uh, hopefully we get some answers today. Cape Ferrat did put in a peak performance. Gambare's really stuck on well today. Uh, the filly had a chance battling on into fourth, two to La Vita, but he was just a different league there, Tom. Yeah, and can I just say something, Ronnie? He's nothing like that Tom you knew. <laughs> nothing like him at all. <laughs> uh, it's all about horse and jockey there, Ronnie. It was a terrific ride by Adam. He was always going to get a good run because he drew one, but it was just the way that he handled the horse. He, he's not a difficult horse to ride, but he just treated him with kick gloves today and just got the absolute dream run, pointed him in all the right directions that he needed to go. But that's the real Tom Kitten there today. 21.283573, the last 600. What about that last 200? He was dynamic. Tom Kitten, Cap Ferrar and Gianbare. Now, for James Cummings, that is his 41st Group 1 victory in just a short time. He trained, of course, two in partnership with Bart, but 41 on his own. And he joins his dad and his grandfather as a winner of this race as a trainer. Anthony Cummings trained two spring champion winners and Bart trained four. So another one for the family. Adam Hieronymus, the winning rider in the blue. That is his third career Group 1 victory today as he brings back Tom Kitten for the powerful Godolphin stable. Three and three quarter lengths by a length. And we're just waiting for James Cummings to make his way down to us. Big moment for Adam Ironis, Corey, to be riding a Group 1 winner in those silks. It is a big moment. Um, it's very special as a rider to put the colours on in any race, but to do it in a Group 1 race, um, yeah, so I'm really happy for Adam. He's riding in terrific form since he's been back from his break, and, yeah, just great to see him in the Group 1 circle.
James Cummings, the winning trainer. And Darren Beedman. <laughs> what, right. what a win. Oh, outstanding. I mean, the, the horse's misfortune's been immeasurable this, uh, these past three starts. And uh, it's, just, uh, it's just fantastic that he was able to get himself into the clear when, uh, when he found himself in the, in, in the best race of the prep and, uh, and, and he was able to show just how good he is. You thought he was capable of that? Oh, look, he's, um, he's just kept improving. He's been training so solidly at, at Osborne Park. And uh, look, I thought he was capable of that, yes. And, uh, and, he's, and, he's, and he's proved to be one of the best middle distance horses in the country today. And uh, look, a nomination in the Cox Plate wouldn't have been out, out of place. But if we can keep getting him better and better, then 12 months time, he, he might be racing on the same day in a, in a downtown in Melbourne. Are you going to go one more this prep? Look, it's worth thinking about. He's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a very interesting horse. He's, he's from a quick family, but he's, he's inbred to Machiavellian, the sire of Street Cry, and, uh, and, and, the, and the horse is in a classic style about him. He looks like he would eat up 2,500, and, uh, and, and the VRC derby is, um, you know, it's a, it's a time-honoured race, so certainly worthwhile thinking about, but, uh, but whatever we do, it'll revolve around just how well Tom Kitten is, and... Uh, and that's the bottom line. You join Anthony and Bart as other Cummings to win this race. Yeah, well, you know, I had whiskers on my face this morning, so uh, I got told to take them off. Might have been bad luck. <laughs> I don't think Bart would have had whiskers on his face no, ever coming to the track. No way. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. All right, thanks. Good on you. Well done, brother. Thank you. Sorry. It's been a long day, but um, a little bit frustrating. But, uh, yeah, look, I wasn't expecting the race to pan out like it did. It was... I felt it was quite a messy run race and um, well I had an idea of how I wanted to ride him, I wanted to be positive, I wanted to hold a position and um, I was able to do so and as things panned out down the back straight he just sort of didn't really have cover as much as he did, he didn't and he was just a little bit aggressive and took me a little bit to get him to settle um, and then obviously with what happened mid-race they stopped um, but it's funny, I watched, I didn't do too much form on the race because I was on the best horse but um, what I did do is I watched the replays of the last probably 10 spring champion stakes and they're all run the exact same and the two best rides were um, Collett from one and Josh Parr from Barrier two. So I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible and when I had my opportunity at the top of the straight, I, I seized it. I felt I got, I exposed him too early, but he's just got so much ability. Absolutely stoked for you, mate. Well done. Thank you.